McLaren 765 LT Spider Review. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. There have been quite a few headlines circling around McLaren of late. Rumor and tetchy counter rumor about its future have combined with the recent departure of its CEO to fill the air with some degree of intrigue and suspicion. But away from front page news stories, the brand has simply been trying to get on with the straightforward business of being a car company and adding to its ever increasing model lineup. With the eagerly anticipated Artura on hold, next in line for an unveiling is the 765 LT Spider, the drop top version of the flagship of its track hardened long tail lineup. Claimed to be the fastest convertible the brand has ever produced, it also promises to add an extra dollop of driver engagement, which, given how immersive and synapse snapping the coupe has already proved to be, is quite some statement of intent. Mechanically, the spider flavored 765 LT is largely identical to the fixed head model, with the same 755 bhp twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 in suspension setup that features a wider front track, lower ride height, bespoke springs and dampers and unique mapping for the interlinked hydraulic active damping system. The biggest change, obviously, is the addition of the powered folding hard top, which can have you up close and personal with the elements in just 11 seconds. There is a weight penalty for the roof, but thanks to its carbon fiber construction it weighs just 49 kilograms, and at 1388 kilogram all in the LT is still 80 kilograms lighter than an equivalently open-aired 720s. Such is the rigidity of the car's carbon fiber structure that very little retuning was required for any of the hardware. In fact, the most significant alteration has been to the calibration of the car's trademark active rear spoiler, which now has different angle of attack strategies to deal with the differing aero pressures from having the roof opened or closed, which is kind of cool. It all looks very promising on paper, but does it stack up? We're sent out, roof up, onto the challenging Navarra circuit in Spain to start with, and from where we're sitting, slung low and legs outstretched in typical recumbent McLaren style, the differences between coupe and cabrio are as good as indiscernible. There's the same deliciously precise and feelsome hydraulically assisted steering, plus the incredible grip and balance that allow you to push harder and faster with every lap. It feels every bit as ferociously fast, too. The LT's extra grunt and the closely stacked intermediate ratios of its 7-speed transmission allowing it to gobble up straights with the rampant energy of a nuclear reactor experiencing thermal runaway. As with the coupe, that wider front track promotes stronger turn in bite for greater mid-corner rotation that allows you to alter your exit angle of dangle at will. You still need to be on your toes when the electronic safety nets are gradually lifted, but no other McLaren is quite as willing to play the fool. Yet to really experience the spider's enhanced appeal, you need to exit the track, lower the roof and head out onto the road, where you can immerse yourself in the sights, smells and surround sound backing track that all come as standard with alfresco motoring.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.